Hi, this is Shane and welcome to episode 22 of Rustic Waters 2. And um, in the last episode, we started um, Ars Nouveau. Am I wearing my... No, I'm not. Right, we started Ars Nouveau and um, we also... Oh, that's gone. I forget. No, I've forgotten that this is a very specific... You have to look at specific points in order to get your your armor but yeah um i finished off the or dictionary or dictionificator yeah or dictionificator all right but basically you can um you can convert all of your um all of your no cancel you can convert all of your um ingots so then for example for copper there's like five different types of ingot so you can put them all through that you pipe things in it passes through and then it spits them out from what i understand and it will all be the same um they'll all be the same ingot or dictionaried so there's that i have yet to try it i just made it put it down um in the uh where are we ocean organizing in this it explains what you can do so it says any of the items you pipe through it will come out the other end as the filter you set so that's something that i can do you know outside of uh oh this is xp don't want xp that's something i can do i don't have to do it on camera okay so what else did i oh i went and got some i got some animals i was growing animals not a sentence i thought i would have to say but i was growing some animals um i just went and think uh fenced that off because you know animals and we have lots of chickens. I probably shouldn't let them wander around, but there you go. Um, I've made this platform up here to put the mycelial stuff for ours. So I will set that up in a second. I probably will fence it off to stop the animals from walking all over it. Actually, I think I will do that because, I mean, they have free range of in here. This is now the animal room. I'm going to have to think about getting some kind of vacuum something to um to get them to to pick up all the the eggs. So that's the other thing. But those were the only two things that I really did, to be honest. Didn't do much between episodes. So, are you stuck there? I think that bee is stuck there. Or it's trying to get out. I don't know. Maybe it's just resting. I have no idea. Right, today's episode. I've rambled for long enough. Um, Let's put these eggs in the fridge. You're not supposed to keep eggs in the fridge real life, are you? I, to be honest, I don't know. I'm sure I read somewhere you're not supposed to, but, you know, just one of those random things. Right, today we are going to be doing, um, making some sauce so that we can start making glyphs. Because I want to be able to get two hateful hearts so that we can, you know, get on two, want two hateful hearts. And then from that we can make the, um, the major spell book. And the Totem of Undying, um, you can buy that. Ender Pearls, you can buy those. So, you know, let's get on with it. So, today, uh, Mycelial Source Link converts dirt in a 3x3 three three area below it into mycelium, which allows for the spawning of passive mobs, which we already know. 
A source is a liquefied version of mana that can be generated using source links. This source is needed to fuel many of the arcane machinery that you will use within this mod. There are five types of source link, however, this guide will walk you through setting up the mycelial source link because it serves a dual purpose. Mycelial source links consume food from adjacent pedestals and converts it into a moderate amount of source. The more complex the food, the more source it generates. Okay, so we need to make a source link, which is gold rods and not blaze rods, which I thought it was at first glance. Arcane stone treated wood planks, two seeds and two saplings. Okay, so we want arcane stone. How many did we need? I didn't look to see. Four arcane stone, four treated wood planks. Um, treated wood planks, we need four of those. We need two seeds. We need two uh, saplings. And we need four gold rods. And gold rods, I think it's just two gold bars, isn't it? So if you want four gold rods, then that means we need eight gold bars. No? Or do we have to turn it into gold plates and then gold bars? Yep. Okay, so then we'll probably need some string. And there's osmium. Where is two of those? And two bits of iron. And some sticks to make the, um, the hammer. Okay, let's see if I remember how to do this. Wrong side and two sticks. That gives you the engineer's hammer. Because I think there is not much left. Where is my... Oh, there's my toolbox. I don't think... Yeah, there's only 16 left. All right, let's just put these two together. Actually, no. I'll... Uh, might as well. Let's make our gold plates. Our gold plates, gold rods. There you go. Right. You had these two, two, three, four, and these two there. One, two, three, four. Counting with Shay. The new show to keep your toddlers occupied. Right, which way round is it? Alright, the seeds are on this side, I thought so. And hit the button. That tooltip was just getting on my nerves, it was in the way. I don't like seeing the tooltip. Well, I shouldn't say that. They just get in the way, basically. Okay, that's there. Okay, so we've got the source link. And we get source berry rolls. Can grants managed regeneration when consumed. Okay, so let's take that out of our, our thing and put it in our backpack straight away because I went and put a feeder on. I wish there was a way that you could like take feeders off you know the same way that you can put it on you should be able to take it off and put them on different things rather than putting it on everything so yeah don't want it to be consumed by accident what's the next thing all right arcane pedestals they want four place the pedestals directly next to the mycelial source link arcane pedestals certain nearby Arcane machinery to pull items from them. Although you are crafting four pedestals, you can use as few as one to supply food to your mycelial source link. Okay, so insert nearby arcane machinery to pull items from them. I'm not sure what word they wanted to put there. I can't even see if there was supposed to be like an extra word or something. But, um,. You just need arcane stone. Okay, they want four. Uh, arcane pedestal. There you go, four. I'm sure you'll need more than that, though. And we get four gold. Excellent. And then after that, we need a source jar. 
They do what you would expect. They hold source within them for use in nearby machinery. In the case of the mycelial source link, they will receive the source that the source link generates from food. The source link will automatically deposit source into the first, into the nearest jar first. And we get a source relay. Okay, let's make the source jar, which is just glass and arcane stone. Uh, I didn't mean to take out an entire stack. And glass and stone that gives us a source jar we'll probably need more than one and we get a source relay and that gives us a relay splitter and a dominion wand okay that was nice um okay you can create a network of source flowing from one workstation to the other using a combination of realized splitters and depositors Use the Dominion wand to link them accordingly. Check your worn notebook for details on using the Dominion wand. Okay. And after that, an enchanting apparatus. Mage blooms are arcane flowers that provide mage, mage bloom fiber and can be turned into source berries. Okay. You can craft more using the enchanting apparatus. The enchanting apparatus is an arcane crafting station of sorts. It is used to craft a myriad of tools and equipment such as armor, weapons, and curios. It can be used to put vanilla enchants onto books for less luck-based gear enchanting. Side note, the enchanting apparatus can be used to create diamonds and pure crystals for your applied energistics network. Check apparatus uses in JEI. Okay, okay, we can do that. More gold rods, that's why they gave you gold. Uh, treated wood and books kind of makes me wish I'd set everything up in the same room rather than going from room to room but you can't really do that it's uh, pain all right put you two there or in the middle you two up here then the four arcane stones on the corners then four books in the middle and two gold rods, one on each, two on each side. And then press the button. Move back so I don't get the tooltip overlooking everything. Is it just me or is my, my machinery going slower? I think it might be just me, I don't know. Okay, we got the enchanting apparatus. So we get mage bloom and source berries. Now, should I put these? I probably should grow them out here. Yeah, I think I will do that. I'll grow them out here. Makes a lot, lots, a lot of sense. Okay, you've done that. And the arcane core. Pedestals can be automated via item pipes. The arcane core must be positioned directly underneath the enchanting apparatus. Surround the arcane core with arcane pedestals. Place the enchanting apparatus on top of the arcane core. Once you've decided upon a recipe, you must place the catalyst item in the middle and the crafted ingredients on adjacent pedestals. Make sure you have source available in nearby source jars to fuel the apparatus. Okay, so pedestals they went let us make four but we need more than four because i th as far as i remember in my brief foray into this you can have up to eight i think you can you i think it's usually eight around the um the the enchanting thing okay all right let's make let's Let's make eight anyway. That's nine. I want eight. Okay, right. So then what did I just put in? I don't know what I just put in. Is arcane stone not in a... Oh, yes, it is. Okay, so you need the source jar. We probably want to make a few more source jars, I think. We'll see. Right, so we have enchanting apparatus. We have... Um, the arcane pedestals that go around the enchanting apparatus, the source jar, more arcane pedestals that we're going to put food on, 
and then the mycelial source link, which gives us food. So what did they say we need to put under the enchanting? Hold on. Arcane core. Oh, I haven't made that yet. That was it. I knew there was something else. Oh, that's simple. Two gold and six, um, six arcane stone. Okay, uh, two gold, gold. It was two gold, right? Or four gold? Two gold. We get four just in case. Because <laughs> you know my memory. It is rubbish. It was only two. Okay. Okay, let's do you and you are sorted. We probably need, um, dirt as well okay i think what i'm gonna do because i'll leave that for um 16 i'll leave that for um growing animals and let's see so you got the enchanting apparatus mycelial source link arcane pedestals source jar arcane core the arcane core goes under the enchanting apparatus. Okay. So put you here. That looks pretty. I like that, but I think I'm going to put... No, we can do it like that. That's fine. Um, the arcane pedestals. Okay, you put the enchanting apparatus on top of it. Helps if I move out of the way. There you go. Now we need to set up. Come, out of the way. Um, I was just about to call you duck. You're not a duck. Chicken. Wait, right, come out of the way, please. Don't let me have to kill you, suffocate you, whatever it is. Ah. <sighs> Move! Thank you. My seal your source link. And then the pedestals. I think I'll put a source jar. No. There you go. I can put it on one of the pedestals. Or actually. Actually, actually, now I think about it. Uh, pickaxe. I could probably put the source jar on the wall or no hold on there you go okay um let's get some food do i have no source relay i don't know if i need that yet hot wings I should probably put that up one. I feel like it should go up one. It's a pity you can't put the eggs on this. And I might have to, to like, just fence off this bit. Stop the animals from crowding it. Okay. Um, can we see how much sauce doesn't tell you oh two percent full okay is that because i clicked it or is it because i'm looking at it i'm not sure right let's go make some more food move out the way thank you and i need to grow the sauce berries but i will do that at some point yeah that bee i think that bee is stuck there been there the entire time Okay, uh, food. Let's go by hunger restored or saturation. They said the better the food is. Fruit punch. Hopefully it will take fruit punch. Chicken celery casserole. Some of those foods sound really nice. I mean, chicken celery casserole. I don't know though. I'm not really a huge fan of celery. I don't mind it sometimes. All right, so. And I think you can automate this.
Right, you do take that, okay. I think you can automate stuff going into the pedestals. Right, it's 9% full. Um, did I put all the food on? I did. Oh, okay. And that is 20% full. Okay, not bad. Let's put in... I oh, know. Jaffa cakes do not go in. All right, so we've done that. Um, ooh, the scribes table. That looks like a good thing. Because then once we've done all of this, we can... Um, Devaria, why are you standing on the plate? Come, move out the way. I don't want you letting out any of these animals. Devar oh, you're lucky. Uh... Yeah, once we've made that, then we can enchant stuff. And then in the next episode, we're going to go fighting. Because I've got... Um, oh, I should move this out of my thing too. I don't want... That can go in. Because I don't want to drink it by accident. Cookout meal. Oh, nice. What was it? Scribe's table. Oh, I did need the gold. Sticks. Uh, Archwood... Archwood logs, which I have, and archwood slabs. All right, we got wood, we got slabs, and we got sticks. Yeah, scribe's table. Nice. Okay, ooh, an enchanter's mirror. All right, some imbuable object items offer benefits such as the mirror, granting the attached spell 100% duration increase. The scribe's table will allow you to transfer spells that you have created in your spell book to items that can be imbued by these spells. For example, imbuing the enchanter's bow with a cold snap spell will cause whatever target you hit with an arrow to be also hit with cold snap. Right click an imbuable item onto the scribe's table. Make sure your spell book has the appropriate spell selected. Shift, shift right click on the table to imbue the item on it. Okay. I had, I had seen Yorkshire Panda put healing on an enchanter's mirror. So then when he needed healing, he could use it to instantly heal himself rather than waiting to eat food and stuff. So, but obviously I'm going to have to, what is the healing? Um, oh, don't you have to make, oh, Okay, a jar of light. Enchanter's mirror is an item that casts a spell on with the self form. Great for imbuing spells that heal or buff you. Okay. There is a sword. Uh, carbuncle, wixie, self, bookworm, and drigamy. Oh, those are those guys that were upstairs. Okay, what's the Enchanter's Sword? It's a very powerful weapon that crafts with a power 10 and looting 5 enchant. It can imbue, be imbued with a spell at the scribe's table. When you strike an enemy with the sword, the spell that it has, that it has imbued will automatically cast at the target. While imbuing, when imbuing the spell, note that the sword has a built-in has a built-in touch form so that the rest of your spell must only contain augments and effects to that form okay so how do you make the sword activated idol of sacrifice source gem block block of gold and the glyph of touch okay and we get honeykin that means we need to make magic clay we need to make the glyph press do I have any warp scrolls so at least I could get that? I'm sure I have one. Yes, I do. I know what you you can use it like a, a temperate like to warp to places, but um it's it's a one time use thing. Additionally you can build a portal frame out of arcane stone and toss a portal scroll in it to set its permanent location. This will allow you to teleport repeatedly again within the same dimension. That's interesting. Okay. Right, let's go and set this down. 
and then I think I will finish for today because tomorrow we can make tomorrow is okay I know what I'm gonna do now so um we need to make magic clay and the glyph press so that we can at least make these this is all coming off the enchanting apparatus so I magic clay coral bubble rock clay and resin which we have plenty of and that gives you magic clay okay and then I know with the magic clay you put it you use it in the glyph press and you use it with different um, glyphs the different objects and that will make a glyph for you so we will do that in the next episode see if we can get this bit done ritual brazier okay we're not going to get there yet and then I can make make my enchants and so on and then we can go clear a couple of dungeons because now that my um, my level has dropped right down thanks to the um thanks to those to buying the hearts the difficulty hearts and with the magical items that we have oh the campfire i hope they don't wander onto the campfire just occurred to me um then you know we can we'll be able to do some good stuff can i put that there no all right i might need to bring out this platform a bit okay okay so you know we're going to spend a couple of episodes at least on ours and making making some proper magical weapons so that we can go and kick some butt because i think that's what i need to do after everything that's happened can i put this on here no it's not gonna take it it's not a food source obviously mm. Ah, no. Didn't mean to do that. 21% full. Okay. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to spend the next couple of days on ours to make magical kick butt weapons to go and slay in dungeons and restore my honor in terms of fighting stuff because you know I can't fight nothing. So, um, so yeah, so thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episodes. Bye bye.